Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial today, and this is going to be a tutorial showing you how to play an animation with one single line of code, and I'll show you how to do it on a trigger event, make it so easy, so quick, that you'll be shocked that you never knew. So I have got this door interaction kit for free on the Unity Asset Store if you want to check it out, which helps you do a trigger door, basic raycast, a button raycast, uh, picking up keys and a hinge door. And it teaches you all the basics that you need to know and you can get it for absolutely free and I'll put the link in the description. But I did make a tutorial on using the animation system in Unity and being able to do something similar. Now I'm going to show you in this one to literally do it in one line of code. So what we need to understand is that on our door here, when we go to the animation window, we ha I've got an animation on my door and you can see that it just opens or closes. Now in the actual animation window, if you go to window and then go to animation and then choose animation, you'll get this and you've got different particular states. You can have different layers which control different states inside those layers. But if we're on default, which is the base layer, I've got an idle, which is what my door does when we're not doing anything. We're not interacting with it. I've got one for door open and one for door closed. And then from here, what we can do is we can just go back to our project. We can just create a brand new C sharp script and call this trigger animation. And with knowing what we just learned, we can go into this script and we can start by writing square brackets, serialize field, then have a private variable and call this on select animator, then have this called my door or my animation, whatever you may want. Then what we can say was you can say void on trigger enter and then in brackets collider other. Then we'll say if other dot compare tag in brackets and quotes, we'll say player. Then below there we'll have two curly brackets and we'll say from there we'll say my door dot play and then open brackets, this will expect us to put in a state name, like we mentioned before, idle, open door or closed door, the actual layer that the animation is on, and then the time of which we can set an offset. So in our case, you could see that we had one called door open. We could specify door open, but what we can do is we can create a variable, which is just serialized field private string door open, which is our variable and have that equal to the name that we might want and then we can edit anything in the inspector so we can use this script across any object that we have so then in this case we can just say door open because this is the variable that we're going to specify we'll put that it'll be on the base layer you could obviously create a variable for this so you could potentially change this in the inspector and then, then we're going to say 0, 0.0 f which is just the offset between 0 and 1 to how long we'll wait before the animation plays because if we put 0.25 we would wait a small amount of time before the animation start. We can go back into Unity, we could select our trigger here, you need to make sure that it has a box collider and it's set to is trigger. You can add a component and choose box collider if you need that. You need to make sure that on your player or FPS controller or whatever you may have, it has a rigid body and it's tagged player because that's what we're specifically looking for. And you can add the component that we just created, which was animation trigger. I'll disable or get rid of my old script because I don't want to use that anymore. Now it's looking for the animated component, which was the actual doll. So it'd be the trigger doll. Then we can specify whatever animation we want, which was called door open. So we could technically specify door close or idle if we really wanted. Then what we can do is press play. Then we can walk into our trigger and open our door. And of course, because I have not destroyed this trigger after I use it, it will just keep on playing the animation from its original state. So there you go. As I said, one single line of code, which is just to play on the animation, choose the state name, the layer, and the offset timing. I hope this helped you out. Be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity store. Come and join the community discord and also support me on Patreon if you like the channel. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.